They are here to hear to hear to. I have to say, I have to say, on behalf of oh, man. <laughs> On behalf of the men, slash, slash, because we choose not to tell the women. The men of Advent Gospel Ministry, we want to tell you how much we appreciate you. You mean so much to us here. Both Sabbath school and when she doing a lesson study, she do a good. You are you demonstrate leadership, you demonstrate managerial qualities, and you know that God love for you is abundance. And guess what? He has just started with you. Let's keep climbing. May success go your way. Both in the social level and in the spiritual level. And may your son forever keep close to you until you get married. <laughs> and when you get married, let him still keep close to you. In Jesus' wonderful name. We love you. God bless you. You can open it when you're ready. You can make style with them. In Jesus' name, your response has to the Lord. I would like to thank everyone for coming. My friend Trisha and my friend Michelle and my friend uh, Marie and all my other friends, even Miss Cole. I would like to thank, and there's a few others on their way, text message that on their way. But you know, as busy professionals, that we are in our things. So they're on their way, some of them. Some of them just send their wishes. But I would like to thank my church family for a wonderful birthday. Sister Nicolette, you did a wonderful job with the decoration. Thank you very much. And on behalf of myself and my son, I would like to thank the church for this gift, whatever it might be. I know it would be great. Amen. Because God is great. And I would like to thank God for sparing my life to see another birthday, another year, which is when my birthday is really tomorrow when I'm celebrating it today. But another year of life is a sin. Because a lot of people did you know they, they saw the beginning of the year but they, they, they're not here today so we have to give God all the praise and all the thanks that he has brought us this far by faith and I would like to thank the Lord for keeping me strong for keeping me healthy for giving me good friends and a Wonderful church family in yeah, Jesus' man. name. Yeah. Praise God. Shall we have moved to the back?
whose power none can contend. You're the only God whose name brings from their friend. You're the only God who is worthy of everything that you can give up. You are God alone from before time began. You are before. You are God with every voice and sing. And right now, in the good times, you are on your throne. You are God alone. Yeah. I was one of those young men who should have been dead. 
And usually people like to stop people from and are saying, this is my story. I know what it is I hear what I am talking about. Um, I, I, I lived on the streets for many years in, 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 in Trinidad and Tobago. And the scripture says that a man's gift shall make room for him and shall take him before great men. And having had the opportunity while singing on the streets, I was discovered and then I was given an opportunity to go to England. While I was in England, I had that opportunity to sing for Princess Diana and Duchess of York and Queen Elizabeth. Letters from the British uh, Parliament and from Her Majesty went back to Trinidad, asking the Trinidad and Tobago government to assist him in granting him with what he needed. I had just gotten off the streets. I didn't want no wife, no house, no car. I just wanted a visa. And I'm not talking about MasterCard's brother. I'm talking about a US visa. And indeed, I, I got that visa, no questions asked. Went into the embassy and the ambassador asked, why do you want to come to America? And they said, because I want to sing. He said, well, we have many singers there. I said, yes, sir. But you ain't got me. And he said that uh, many have tried that one. And right there, I started to sing. And he started to smile. Got that visa. Came here almost 28, 28 years ago. I've been singing all over the country. I'm the uh, first individual in the U.S. to uh, tribute winning the American McDonald's Gospel Service Award at Madison Square Garden, uh, the World Music Award in California, been at the White House, uh, sat for three U.S. presidents in June. I was back there uh, to sing for Caribbean American Heritage Month and U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris. Um, I didn't finish school, and so through the military, it gave me an opportunity to it granted me that opportunity to go, to go back to school. I started my GED, Sister Grace would remember. Um, six years ago, I started my GED. Six years later, I am just one semester away, well, this one and two more classes to complete my master's degree, having never gone below a 3.6 GPA. Wow. So between 3.7 and 3.9. I This is my son, Gerard, my gift. We both were born on Wednesday, the 7th. We both were born at 10.59 a.m. We both have the same two word marks on our back in the same two places, carrying the same two numbers in the same two positions in our social. So I don't think that he has a sense of humor because he's always up to something. Um, and I thank God for my son. Yeah, I'm pursuing a master's degree in uh, political science, international affairs, and global justice. I serve uh, presently with the United States uh, Treasury. All right, so I want, I want us to join in to sing that song, Happy Birthday, and stuff for Sister Nicole. All right? So after three, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Nico. Happy birthday to you. One more time. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Nico. Happy birthday to you.
In Trinidad, we, we, we would sing the second verse. But I learned in America, you don't sing that here at all, especially for a woman. You, you know part of the song? Or oh, all right now? The first time I asked a woman she aged, I never do that again. No, 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 a woman, you don't tell a woman that because if, if, if you do something like that, chances are the next song that you'll be hearing is a Bible thing. Or oh, it is well with my soul. Last rites, you know. Um, I am, um, I've known Sister Nicole for a few years. And, um, And when I lift my voice to worship you, oh my soul, come on, join in. Rejoice, stay joy, stay joy.
those days. Um, she and my sister became close friends, and by extent, my sister um, passed away now, and by extension, she and the family became close friends, and so she was a household name. Um, what you see is what you get from her. You know, what you see is what you get. And I will say to her co-workers, definitely you all have a part in her heart. Somewhere along the line, I don't know what association goes on, if she strips here, if she says something, I don't know. What I do know is that despite what goes on on your work, that you all have a place in her heart. Because she customarily speak about her workers. She would like to see them come. She would like to fellowship with them. I hear that so many times from her lips that I can say to you all, definitely, regardless of the ups and the downs, if she turn her back, if she, regardless of what you see, that independent nature in her heart, she definitely have something for you all. And I thank God for that because not every individual that works with others, you will see them sharing or wanting them to come into their space. So if you have someone wanting you to come into their space as a co-worker, Know that despite that person may say something you don't like or do something you don't like, it's bigger, they have a bigger picture than that within them. And so I appreciate your all coming to spend this time to say to Nicole, we are with you. We do care about you. And so we could have been somewhere else, but we are here. Nicole, the church definitely see you as a leader. They see you as someone that can hold your own. And you demonstrate that I can see both in the social realm at your work. And you are able to still come and do it at the spiritual realm. God loves that. You don't want you to be only spiritual and you are no good social. And you don't want you to be so social that you cannot interact spiritual. Because there are some people as they climb the ladder of the social success, church tend to take a backslide. I want to repeat that again. As people climb the ladder of success, church start to take a backslide. Before they, they become a nurse, they were praying to be a nurse. And after they become a nurse, they <laughs> time for God has become diminished. As you continue to grow, you give God the praise and the thanks. And for you to take this opportunity today to say thank you, Jesus. Because we're going to have 10 boxes on top if you so desire. 10 in front, 10 boxes there. And when I say boxes, you know what I'm talking about. I see Negro here. Negroes. Boxes mean to say boom, 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 boom. So 10 to be there playing, 10 to be there. And we're going to have a serious, what you call, fest. Now we use the choice of word party because we all have parties, Christian and non-Christian. But you could have had a fit, a serious Bacchanal, Trinbago, Caribbean, Labour, fit. You all understand what I'm talking about? We are going to have to duck in, put on a little mask so that nobody will see me, chip up foot here or two and duck back up. <laughs> We share in this celebration with you. Where we say, hey, I can impress more on this day than impress. You are loved, uh, you are cherished both by your co workers and by your church family. May God continue. I wish I had a toast to toast with you all. 
May God, I lift the glass wherever you put your glasses, I lift it in the spirit. That's the bottles coming. This yeah. See, see the alcohol content in that food, please. <laughs>